Hi everyone, it's Alan here. I'm just going to do a, a follow-up to my bargain thrift store, ye old charity shop, Goodwill, whatever they're called in America and elsewhere, I don't know. Uh, but here we go, this is a follow-up. Uh, most of his stuff was like a pound or 50p, a couple, a little bit more. Okay, let's go for it. It's brought over a little period of time, it's not all in the last couple of weeks. Okay. This one first. I mentioned it last time, didn't show it. Exmal Deutschland, Fetish, fantastic album. All female, almost all female. Um, great band, really, really powerful stuff. I'm not going to do a huge amount of talking on a lot of these because we all like to just flick through, don't we? What's next? What's next? Oh, well, look at that one. Okay. An original, Iggy Pops the Idiot, RCA Victor, in superb condition. Fantastic album. Those tracks on side two, Dum Dum Boys and Mass Production are just immense, immense. Okay, a copy of The Cure. Need to get some goo gone on there. 17 seconds, first press. That's a nice find. It's a surprisingly restrained album. Um, it doesn't really take off, you know, you're expecting it to suddenly go up a notch and it doesn't. And it creates an atmosphere, which I suppose is partly the intention. And I think the cover perhaps sums up what's inside quite well. It's uh, vague and kind of hard to grasp. Something slightly different. Ron Matlock. Love City. This is a quite a desirable disco funk record and it's amazing. The first side in particular I think is just a fantastic side of music. Let Me Dance, Love City, I Can't Forget About You Feeling Something. Really, really excellent. I just took a punt and I wasn't really sure who he was or anything. I think he only did this one album but wow, what an album if you're into that kind of thing. Something more up to date, an original copy of Lamb's What Sound. There we go. There's two vinyls in the one sleeve. Good album, interesting, and if you're into this kind of thing, um, I don't, for me, that doesn't always, this sort of stuff doesn't always catch my ear. It's sort of like, you know, I need a bit more sort of drum and bass, sort of trip hoppy sort of. Um, but there's something quite uh, interesting and unusual about this album. And uh, I'm quite glad I picked it up. I think that was a couple of quid. Okay, now this for me was a fantastic find. An original UK, Acid, Ray Barretto. I always love seeing that little red in there because I know it's mono. It's a superb sort of Latin salsary kind of album. Absolutely stunning condition and uh, I couldn't believe it when I found it. It was uh, there's a little carrier bag of records in a charity shop. I had a look through it. This was one of them. And uh, what an album, it's just so good. One of the worst covers in the history of the world. <laughs> well, look at this guy. I mean, come on. But uh, great, great stuff. At the same time, pick this up. Also on the Fannier label originally, um, but in UK it was printed on London. An original introducing George Guzman. A very similar album to Ray Barretto. I think it's probably better. Fantastic, fantastic find. Quite a valuable record again, especially in mono. Um, superb condition again. Wonderful stuff and I really recommend if you're into Fania label at all, check that out. You only did a couple of albums, this and In Line or In Linear. Um, Absolutely amazing. Go and check these two albums out. They <laughs> are just brilliant. Brilliant stuff. Really, really happy to find them. At the same time, 
Le More Primitivo, a very obscure and quite a rare soundtrack by Franco Riva of a film starring Jane Mansfield. The guy who obviously had this collection was into, I assume he's a guy, I don't know, uh, was into sort of a Latin y sort of sound, um, lots of bongos and things like that. Brilliant stuff, quite a desirable and rare album. This also, I can, <laughs> just finding this stuff all together in this one bag. Chicachas, um, with a provocative cover to try to cash in on the uh, black exploitation thing at the time, um, 1972, I believe, on Young Blood. And this is a great soul funk, kind of a little bit of infusion, Latin, Latin esque in places. Highly desirable, uh, on the original especially. Fantastic for breaks and funk bass lines and stuff, brilliant stuff. Wonderful. Now we're going to go a little bit... Where are you going with this? <laughs> Don't take me to the outer fringes. This is Branca's Symphony No. 3, Gloria. I um, found a bunch of uh, avant-garde, minimal sort of albums, this being one of them. This is music for the first 127 intervals of the harmonic series. Uh, he's renowned for doing this kind of stuff. This is actually really quite intense, uh, but fascinating music, but you do have to be in the mood. And a, a nice record on CRI, Roger Reynolds, Arthur Creek and Alice Shields. Avant-garde here. Uh, variations on a the theme by David Ofsky. There's lots of tape, uh, tape music and things like that, uh, manipulation and stuff. This particular piece, the Alice Shields Coyote, is excellent. Also, is VR for Krieger. Really quite interesting. Same time, Xenarchus Orestia. I don't know how to pronounce that. I just should have just looked. <laughs> and uh, found out at the same time, same collection. Also, a withdrawn library copy of this album. Quite a hard thing to find. It's always hard to find Xenarchus stuff. Uh, the vinyl is absolutely pristine. I don't think it's ever been played until I got it. Wonderful stuff. I really like Xenarchus. I mean, some of his stuff is a bit out there, but try, uh, pieces like this all day long. Sublime. This is Barakoskas. Now, um, a lot of people wouldn't have heard of him. Russian composer. I really recommend checking out this track. It's Orgija, I think it's uh, Orgy in English. If you go on to the, on Discogs and type in Balakoskas, which is up here, in the drop down you'll see this record come up and the track is actually on um, the page on the YouTube little, little video they have. Uh, just check it out, it's a fantastic little piece, five or six minutes long, uh, forgive me, seven minutes long and um, Really, really good, atmospheric, interesting, powerful, driving stuff. This also, I don't know, it's annoying. <laughs> Tape around the edge, but that kind of thing doesn't really bother me that much. Uh, minimal masterpiece, David Berman's On the Other Ocean. And Figure in a Clearing. If you're into any kind of minimal music, Philip Glass, Steve Reich, etc, etc, this, it'll be right up your street. Wonderful piece of music, very famous, and uh, great find for 50p. Okay, whoa, where are you going there? Lonnie Smith, Mama Whaler, not Lonnie Liston Smith. I did pick up a copy of Expansions in a charity shop for 50p as well recently. I uh, forgot to pull that one out. Wonderful album this, some great tracks on it, really good vibe, good soulful feel to it. Lovely stuff. So I'm not going to talk too much about all of these. Mr. Santos, Maestro. Still in the shrink. You don't find this kind of stuff over here. This is a blue note. This is a great, great record. It's not really my kind of thing normally, I think. You know, sort of slightly Latin sounding stuff. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. I'm getting more and more into it as I hear this stuff. I mean, it's just brilliant. Superb. There's a little bit of vocal on some of these and a great, great album. 
as is this Kenny Barron's Sunset to Dawn. Uh, who else is on here? Bob Cranshaw, Freddie Waits, Richard Landrum and Warren Smith. I don't know why we always have to insist on saying whoever's on the jazz album. Another great record. It says recorded April 2nd, 1973. Quite a desirable find. Really good music. As is this. Om. With Dom Arm Romeo. Bit of fusion. This is oh, some intense stuff on here. Incredibly good. Incredibly good. Check some of these things out if you're into this kind of stuff. This is a completely. Where are you going? Not a classical album. This is a Mozart Prague Symphony Number no. Thirty Eight in D K Five Hundred Four. Ooh, snappy. And also in C, K425, Symphony Number no. 36, Linz. Now then, Raphael Kuvelik. Very rare album on this wonderful stereo HMV label. Very rare, lovely stuff. Lovely sound on these old stereo albums. These UK stereo presses are probably some of the best in the world. From that to this is a copy of James Dean Bradfield's The Great Western, another rare album. Sells for about £100 normally. Beautiful cover. Absolutely beautiful. Now this guy is the lead singer of Manic Street Preachers. This is similar to Manic Street Preachers, but like Manic Street Preachers light, <laughs> should I say. Uh, very similar sounding. And his voice, I've always loved his voice. They do sound a bit similar to Manic Street Preachers, even after all these years. All their songs sound a bit like a cover version of a previous one. Um, but they have done some timeless stuff. And this album is solid and a lovely, lovely cover. Let's just open that up. Okay, I'm trying to race through. Beals, yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm showing this because this is a first press with a misaligned apple. And lovely condition with no The Majesty credit, which later pressings do have. This is a later pressing. Let me see the aligned apple. The aligned apple. Now then, I'm also showing this. This is the first mono. In an excellent condition again. The reason I'm showing this is just so that you can see the difference between that and the later. See the thickness of the spine. It's much late, uh, much thicker than the later pressings. That was all and I won't bother. <laughs> all right, let's go for this. Now here's some really nice, tasty albums. Dando Shaft. What a lovely, lovely record this is. Folk, better than Fairport Convention in my opinion. <laughs> All right, it's an opinion. Uh, lovely, lovely stuff. This is actually reversed. This image. This actually looks like it's two separate images, but it's actually one. And uh, I've reversed it. This should have been the front cover, but um, they made a mistake. You can see by some of the writing, it's actually printed. You want to see from there? Maybe printed backwards. But you know, I think this is a far better front cover. I don't really want to be looking at that as a front cover. Okay, this is a nice, nice find. I mean, that is one for me. That is one of the best covers of the sixties. Striking. Look how tough they look. That is brilliant. That is one of the best covers of the sixties, no doubt. It's a shame that the album isn't. <laughs> it's uh, an original on Fontana. Lovely, lovely Nick. Um, but it's just, you know, kind of generic 60s pop. A couple of really excellent tracks, but not the greatest thing to shout home about. Okay, it's a copy of Reflection. Again, this was, I think, 50p. I'm just showing this because, although it's a fairly common record, um, here's the inner, the original inner. 
then when I got it home, this fell out. A souvenir brochure. And this is from the Royal Albert Hall, I believe. And this shows you the selection of tracks that they may, you know, they'll do. That concert would consist of some of those. So each concert was different. Quite a nice little thing. With a, with a comprehensive discography of their solo albums and that as well at the back. And Pentangle join up with freebies. Okay, just three more. This is a really rare album. I never see this. I just do not see this album. This is Slaytam Stoot. I don't know why they called it that. Uh, by Toots and the Maytals. It's a great, great record. It's quite a rare album. Dynamic. 1972. A lovely sounding re record, this. Uh, including the festival song. I don't know what festival that was. It kicks off with Louie Louie. Um, Great, great album, that. As with a lot of that stuff, it's really, you can't touch it. Here's a copy of another great album. This is Mercator Projected by East of Eden, with like a Soft Machine 1 kind of cover. Uh, or Soft Machine 2, one of those, with a girl on the back. This is, you can see by the hole there, blue, so it's stereo on Dylan. A uh, great, great record, 50 pence. Wonderful prog, eastern tinged, a bit dirty, I think, yeah, a bit faded on the back, a bit brown. Um, great, great album though. Uh, there's some great stuff on here. There's one song with some really corny lyrics, Centaur Women. But um, the rest of it, as you can tell, is sort of influenced by Middle Eastern kind of thing, North African sounding music, and put into a prog setting. And this is great. Last one, an original first pressing of Barrett. This got a couple of stains on the back here. And Martin Hollands, whoever he was, donated this to a charity shop and I got it for £1.50. Thank you, Martin. Anyway, great stuff. This, of course, everyone knows. I, for me, the best tracks on here is that Wind and Dined. Uh, where else? Waving my arms in the air, I never lie to you. Um, those sorts of songs uh, just have something emotional and fragile, intense and beautiful. That's it. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, see you soon.